Hello, this is Jim Ross again, and I'm here to talk to you about a project that I started for a company called Shot of New York City on October 27, 2011. They wanted us to source plus ship finished exotic leather hides to their garment factory in Pakistan for their next season's collection. We completed shipping them their first order of python and cobra leather hides on December 8, 2011. Then we followed up and completed a second order of python hides that we shipped to their factory in Pakistan on June 26, 2012. I had to inform them of what I could store, such as what type of hides, like python with back cuts or belly cuts, and the size dimensions available. Some people like to see the belly part of the snake, so they cut the hide along the back of the animal, but the others like to see the markings along the back of the hide, so they process the hide by making cuts along the belly of the animal, thus allowing the beautiful markings along the animal's back to be seen. These hides are available in many different colors and shades, such as khaki green or in taupe. There's dark, medium, and light. Here you can see dark taupe. These are glazed hides with a glazed finish and light taupe, again with a glazed finish, and medium taupe, again with a glazed finish. Different shades of cognac or gray. They can even paint between the lines on the markings on the back of the hide. The client also wanted to try cobra hides, so I sourced some black and natural color hides for them. These hides are up to a meter long, whereas python hides could get up to over four meters long. Here's the tail of the black hide. Here you can see a natural color, and that's the head of the hide, and this is the tail of the hide. We could even get water snake, but they decided against it. Here are what ring lizard hides look like when they arrive at the tannery in Mexico. They are hard and full of formaldehyde. Sometimes the hides are processed such that you can see the natural ring from the animal on the finished product, but sometimes the client wants a solid color and those markings are covered over in the tanning process. The tannery can finish the hides in all different types of colors such as burgundy, cognac, brown, different shades of yellow. You got gray, medium brown, dark brown, anything you can imagine, all types of special patterns that you would like. The factory can put these and more on the finished hides. Some of the hides are very soft and supple, such that you can see it being squeezed in my hand. And these are all ringtail lizards, tanned in very pro various different processes in different colors. Here is a piece of unfinished python tail that when finished, it can be a very soft and supple, such as you can see it being squeezed in my hand. Plus it rolls back out to its natural shape as I release it from my hand. It comes in all different colors, but the cool part is that it's super, super soft. This is just the tail part of the python, about one meter long. And again, it is offered in different colors, such as purple and different shades of red or brown, different finishes, such as this black glazed version, or different types of metallics. Uh, that they can paint on it. There's also versions that can be painted in the middle. The tannery can do all different types of things that you can imagine. You just leave it in its natural state or you can have it dyed. The factory offers glazed and non-glazed versions. The non-glazed is not going to be shiny. The glazed will be shiny. Here you can see some that are non-sanded. These are non-sanded pieces shown at an angle, close up, shiny glazed. Here you see a piece right here that's been sanded. The finish has been sanded, sanding off the top layer of the hide, giving it a duller finish. It adds to the softness also. This hide is 300 centimeters long and 26 centimeters wide. This one 275 centimeters long and 25 centimeters wide. This is 265 centimeters long by 25 centimeters wide. These hides are priced according to the length and width of the various hides. They take the width measurements not at the end, but at the middle, the widest part of the hide. They show the markings so that it is easy to price out the hides depending upon the daily cost of new hides they acquire. And I showed the rulers to give a better understanding of the proportions of the width and lengths of the hides that they sell. These hides can be wide in the middle and they taper off from it going from the belly to the head or the tail to the belly.
This hide, you see, this is about to be the head portion of the hide, but it gets narrower as it gets to the end. This is the widest part of the snake, and this is the widest part of the hide. This is where they price it at its width. Some of the hides have damage, so they discount the hides accordingly due to holes in the animal, due to defects from the tanning, or the animal getting involved in a fight while he was alive. So they'll discount the hide based upon this area of the damage itself. It's not a lot, but it's maybe a meter here or there. Here's the sample and weigh bill that I used to send the original sample of the belly cut to the customer for their approval. After getting approval from the customer on acquiring back cut python hides and black cobra hides for them, I sent some photos for final confirmation on the sizing of what they would be buying. We went ahead and sourced the hide that we would be using to fulfill their order, and I took various photographs showing them samples of what I would be sending them. These are various samples of the hides that we actually sent them, showing them the sizing. I also took photos of the highs before they were packed in their shipping boxes. The documents required for the shipment were as follows. I had to get two CITES documents due to the two different types of hides, Python and Cobra, that we were shipping to Pakistan. Plus, we had to get two different pedimentos for the shipment, three different pages for the first one, and two different pages on the second one. The second pedimento started here. Plus, we had to include an invoice for the final shipping of this first order. About five and a half months after the company received their shipment in Pakistan, they placed the second order for more Python hides with us. So we sourced the hides through the same tannery and acquired the proper documentation for this shipment to go to the same factory in Pakistan. And this concluded our work on this project. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about the exotic trade and getting proper documentation. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.